Collective, welcome back to the channel Emperor's Light Tarot. It's me, Tony, your spiritual guide, and I'll be giving you your love messages for the next few minutes. Comment to the video, liking the video, and subscribing to the channel, of course, so that we continue to grow, add value. But yeah, you know why we're here. Let's get to it. Let's get into it. Highest messages of love and light, please and thank you, spirit team. What does the collective need to know today in regards to love, romance, and the matters of the heart? Who wants to energetically connect with them at this time in the name of love? What's the synergistic union here? So what's your person's thoughts and feelings at this time? How are they viewing this connection? We got the Nine of Cups. Contentedness. Wish fulfillment. So your, your person feels very happy about the relationship at this time. Maybe you sparked this person's interest highly. Because, yeah, they're feeling Nine of Cups about you. Six of Pentacles that they also want to reciprocate. They want an equal and balanced union with you. This person may even come in as a support system, right? Adding value. <laughs> this could be a very graceful person. And this person values their time. The Seven of Wands. Hmm. Right, um, a defensive person, right? Someone in a protective stance. I'm not sure what I'm getting. The Ten of Wands. This person is holding back here. <laughs> They're holding back a lot of passion. The Queen of Wands, exactly passion. Mm -hmm. The Queen of Wands, the Queen of Fire, the Queen of Passion. Right? You could be dealing with a very charismatic individual. They're very beautiful. They're very creative as well. They may have a, like a nice body. The Four of Pentacles. Yeah, this person's holding back. <laughs> I'm not sure if they're holding back their attraction to you, because they can definitely be viewing you as the Queen of Wands, right? Like a um, <clears throat> man. I don't. I don't like superficial terms and things like that. <clears throat> Celebrity, like you know, Instagram type uh, individuals. Yeah, this person may be viewing you on social media. For some of you guys, yeah, this person's at a distance. With the Ten of Wands, that's travel for me. But yeah, they're holding they're holding back a lot of passion from you. <laughs> the Empress shows up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. With the Six of Pentacles, you could be dealing with a Libra or an Earth sign, Taurus. The Seven of Wands is clarified by the Four of Swords. A lot of Fours showing up. Mm -hmm. Again, they're hiding something. They're holding back. This is like a timeout or a rest. Also, a recovery period. This person can be um, very meditative. And this also indicates um, sex as well. Hmm. Yeah, they're holding back their sexual desires towards you. This could be a mother or someone that wants to have a child with you, even. The Ten of Wands. Oh, my God. This person wants to drop sexual burdens with you. It's too early in the morning for this. <laughs> I started this reading at 1140 on East Coast time. This person may be younger than you, or they're just uh, excited by you passionately. Mm. Queen of Wands. The Two of Cups. Yeah. So this is your person's thoughts, their feelings, um, how they're seeing this relationship, and how they're wanting to come towards you. They definitely want to make a toast with you, a sharing of cups. I'm getting a sharing of potential. Right. So it looks like they may want to get into some sort of a creative endeavor with you. Definitely a mixture of the sacral chakra energy. <laughs> Let's go ahead and clarify this four of pentacles. It's a knight. They want to bring you an offer. Mm -hmm. Three of cups. Exactly. This person wants to celebrate with you. They would definitely want to spend more time with you and they want to um, connect more with you emotionally. Again, they're very happy with this relationship, with this union, judgment. Yeah, they're seeing... <laughs> 
time to take action, a judgment call in terms of a relationship. And one of my uh, opinions on this card, right, as marriage can be an important decision. Yep. This person's thinking about marrying you. This four of swords is giving, yeah, this four of swords and this seven of wands is giving lockdown energy. <laughs> yep. Yeah. The page of wands and the ten of wands is clarified by the hermit card. Introspection, right? A deep and critical thinker, right? This action or this decision that they're thinking about taking, right? It requires a lot of thought. This person may be a hermit or a very private individual. Or that could be the way that they carry their feelings very privately. Two of Cups and the Queen of Wands clarified by the Lover's card. Ooh, this person likes you a lot. It could be a soulmate or a twin flame. There's a lot of passion there. Um, getting like um, the laws of attraction. Mm -hmm. This person may be into that sort of thing. Manifestation, the law of attraction. The last card, uh, the Knight of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles is clarified by the Queen of Pentacles, a mother. Right. Yep, this is a very vibrant, very... Um, has a lot of vitality here, this uh, Queen of Pentacles, because it's coming off as the Empress as well. Very abundant. This is a wife or a mother or some sort of a matriarch. Take it how it resonates, right? Man or woman. What's being hidden here? More of this person's uh, hidden thoughts. The Page of Swords, they're watching you and spying on you. This is a spiritual connection. You may be helping this person through some sort of a spiritual awakening as well. They may see you as a spiritual teacher, leader, or guru. This person also has clairvoyant gifts. They're some sort of a seer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Numerology 2 with the High Priestess and Two of Swords. Yeah. This person is a clairvoyant with the Two of Cups. So, yeah, they definitely see this as an energetically sensitive relationship. Very romantic. There's a lot of passion here as well. The King of Swords bringing in that marriage contract. Right? Your person may be a motivational speaker or, again, some sort of a, a leader, inspirational leader. Maybe they speak online. Knight of Wands, a, lot of, a very passionate person. So this person is coming in as a Knight of Wands as well, is what their energy read is. Right? The Knight of Wands is a very passionate, swift-moving individual. Right? They, can't be really, they can't really be locked down like that, but it looks like you're about to lock this person down. Or, I mean, <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to say much. What do we have? Some sort of a calling in your soulmate type energy here with the lovers and judgment. The empress is here. So I'm assuming your person is an emperor or you're this emperor. So someone that's decided to take accountability in their life, right? But yeah, those are all the main. Oh, the hermit here. So we have Virgo the hermit, right? Very wise, very knowledgeable individual, powerful assistant. This person is possibly a very um, health conscious as well. We have the judgment card, Scorpio energy. Right. Again, this person could be a, a platformer or some sort of a speaker over a group of people. So for some of you guys, this is a health physician. We have the lover's card, a soulmate connection here. Also with the two of cups, my minor arcana version of the lovers. So definitely a, some sort of a soulmate or powerful love connection here. The empress. Right. The lover is calling in that soulmate. The empress is for the emperor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Looks like a very abundant union, though, I see. High court cards. The queen of pentacles and the queen of wands. A very creative, very successful. Yeah, this gives me, like, nature vibes. <laughs> like a nature witch or something like that. Or, uh, what do you call them? Like a medicine doctor. non-traditional but they can very well be a doctor as well right they may have like some sort of a career in uh, the medical industry plant medicine even minor arcana oh wait we have the knight of pentacles so this is them when they're bringing um if this is marriage they definitely um bringing in an engagement or some sort of a material offer we got two of cups this is how they feel about this connection. So this is you guys. Three of Cups. We go from the Two of Cups to the Three of Cups. This person has strong feelings. And remember, 
wherever it is. I think it was Nine of Cups. Yeah, it's at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, so this person likes you a lot. Coming in with this Knight of Wands and this, uh, which, this, mm. <laughs> Did this person, oh, wait a second. This person is, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Because <laughs> it sounds bad. This person is like, um, they're seeking you out for a selfish moment is the only thing that I can think of right now. But it's something else. Because this person genuinely likes you. I don't know, maybe you like this person's dream person or something like that. The Page of Wands is also here as well. Yeah. This person is very excited to be around you or near you. Or they get excited when they see you. Okay. Four of Swords and the Four of Pentacles. You make this person feel like a kid. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> this person is hiding how much they like you. We have the Six of Pentacles. Equal uh, give and take, reciprocation. Right. Nice things. Yeah, it feels like a very abundant relationship for this person. They're very, um, they're very abundant. Either they have high vitality or they're just very successful on the material plane. Seven of Wands. Like a heirloom or some sort of a family secret or something like that. Ten of Wands. Yeah, this is giving me like uh, generations and generations. Mm-hmm. Rites of passage, even for some, yeah. But the Ten of Wands is indicative of responsibilities and um, burdens and stuff, right? Typically, they would want to take on yours, and you would take on theirs if this is a relationship, because that's how it works, right? Marriage and union and that sort of thing. Yep. Let's get a break deck message. Break deck message. Love, romance, and the matters of the heart for the collective. What is that person thinking, feeling? Thinking and feeling about this connection. This was a weird reading. Kind of off. The five of pentacles. Physical displacement. Yeah, like I said, there's something off about this. We have the Fool card. Your person is an adventurer. They move around a lot. Maybe an adventurer or this person is like a super nature lover. Yeah. This person may even be taking a leap, a leap into entrepreneurship. Yeah, we have Justice behind the Fool card. Some sort of a life purpose. And then Five of Pentacles, the Page of Wands. Yeah, a new adventure, a new pursuit, taking action. Yeah, having a lot of faith as well. Mm -hmm. This person is definitely into nature. It can be like a young shaman or something like that. But that's what I have for you. Your person definitely uh, feels a lot of passion for you. They're definitely growing in love for you. Uh, they're definitely seeking some sort of a long-term union, right? So take it how it resonates, whether it's a, a relationship that they want with you or uh, taking it to some the next level, like marriage. But they also see this as a spiritual connection as well, right? What the high priest is showing up, spiritual matters, right? Yeah. But anyways, uh, like the video uh, and subscribe to the channel so that I can put out more readings like this in the future. Thanks for supporting. Oh, yeah, and I am open for personal readings at this time. If you guys want to request a personal, you can find that information down in the description box. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.